The lessons learned in 2018 will play a role in how Kansas City tackles crime in the new year. In a safe KC report, 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake talked with two people working to minimize the issue here in the metro. Community leaders on both sides of the state line say they're happy to report a decrease in crime from 2017. I'm encouraged and I truly believe that we will see the change within two years. Kamisha Stanton is going into year two in her position as KCMO's violence program coordinator. It's a position that came about from the most recent Citizens Task Force on Violence that came up with eight recommendations. I really want to work on what causes violence, not, not just prevention and like prevention programs, but actually studying uh, violence as a health issue. Half the items on the recommendation list are complete and the rest are in progress, including a state fatality review and a violence study with the CDC. Both would go hand in hand. Kansas City is at 135 homicides so far compared to 151 this time last year. We're kind of proud to say that our uh, that our overall crime is down by 10 percent, between 10 and 11 percent. Wyandotte County ends against crime consists of 87 active neighborhood organizations which work underneath the unified government of KCK. Paul Sopp president of WCAC credits the decrease to crime initiatives by the police department and just good old-fashioned citizen activism. At the end of 2017, the homicide total was at 41. So far, it's at 35. The gang issues are, are one, of the, uh, one of the biggest threats to not only our community, but all, all the other communities around the city. Soptic says WCAC wants to do a better job of working with grade schools and middle schools in 2019 and reaching at-risk kids. I've seen it firsthand. Uh, we had a little guy that, that was graffitiing at age 11. At age 12, he did his first house break-in, and at age 13, he did, he did his first drive-by. Uh, at age 15, he did his first shooting, and he'll never see the light of day again. Both Stanton and Soptic say they've noticed organizations and people slowly becoming more unified. It really is important for the citizens to get involved. I have seen more more participation moving through the year. I really have. You don't think it's it's, it's big, but it but it could be. Sarah Plake, 41 Action News. Stanton says Kansas City needs to do a better job in 2019 of working with homeless kids, the LGBTQ community, and victims of sex trafficking. If you know of someone working to make Kansas City safer, contact us. Send your story ideas to safekc at kshb.com.